U.S. healthcare delivery organizations are facing a lot of uncertainty right now. There are new entrants coming into their markets. There are endemic staffing challenges that they need to overcome. Regulatory changes are happening very frequently. Every day they open their inbox and see new partnerships, new innovations being launched, and they have to decide what to do. Provider 2035 was really our attempt to lay out what the landscape for the provider organizations would look like by the year 2035. And our goal in doing so was really to kind of communicate the landscape such that providers could then use that as guidance as they think about their strategic plans. We think that it's imperative that providers sort of tie tactical actions with long-term strategic initiatives with a clear line of sight into what the future state looks like. So that means understanding kind of what the market will look like 10 years out, but also sort of determining what role they want to play or not play within that potential future state. And so Providers 2035 was really written with that in mind. Our clients are thinking about what's going to happen five, ten years from now. What should I be thinking about as private equity comes into my market? What should I be thinking about as technology innovations are launched and I have 15 vendors coming to me selling me their latest wares? How should I be handling my very difficult staffing challenges? What should I be doing? And this is a really important tool for us and for them and for all provider organizations to use in thinking about what's going to matter in the long term and not getting distracted by what might matter right here or now. We saw a gap and a need for a concise series uh, that lays out some of the facts first and foremost, takes a structured approach to how to think about new entrants and new competitors and what these trends mean over the next 10 years and then how provider organizations should respond to that. But there are going to be some winners and there are going to be some losers and those that are really going to thrive in the marketplace are going to be folks that are thinking strategically about the choices that they're making and making decisions that are grounded in, in their strengths and that are grounded in understanding the local market today but also understanding the evolving nature of that local market in the future.